Hey everybody, welcome back to StackSax. Today we are going to look at Code Llama. It is from Meta and it is their AI tool for coding. So this just came out and it's another one of their free and open source models. It's based off of Llama 2, which we looked at in the past. And I thought it'd be fun to take it for a spin today and kind of test it out and kind of see what we can do. So the good people over at Perplexity, Perplexity Labs updated their Llama Chat playground to include Code Llama. So we have an opportunity to run it without installing it, which is great because I was about to do that. So thank you guys. And I thought we could just, you know, maybe just try a couple prompts and see if we can get some, maybe some HTML, some CSS and some JavaScript up and running. So let's take a first spin. So. All right, let's start with just getting some HTML up and running. So let's see, can you, can you give me a boilerplate for marketing? Okay, that's pretty good, but I should have asked for HTML. All right, so it is impressively writing out quite a bit of, looks like almost like a bootstrap template. Wow, it's still going. All right, that's too big, so it didn't finish. But one cool thing about this setup here is you can see it took less than a second to start outputting. It outputs 60 tokens a second. This whole this whole response was 2,000 tokens. And it took 32 seconds. So it's a neat little feature of this site that we're using. Let's just try... Let's just try for a photo gallery. Give me... Let's... Wait, can you give me a photo gallery? HTML, placeholder, don't, download, yeah. All right, let's just start there. All right, so let's go over to a code pen and let's get this HTML set up here. A pretty basic layout. So, all right, let's see, can you write? Right, so um, to center the gallery, see if it remembers what's above it. Center the photo gallery. And, and update the HTML. Make sure. What? Oh, yeah, let's just. Yeah, just said simple. All right, let's test it out. Like we're doing a flex box situation. Okay. Can you increase the size? Interesting. What I wanted to do is see if I can get some space in between the photos. So, can you create boots to have some space? But I think I need to be more declarative. So it already forgot the, the class names that we were working with, but let's see how, okay. Let's just try to see how, how good it remembers. I mean, how good, how good the code is. So we're always going to have to probably tweak a little bit. Actually, let's try something. So let's reference the HTML again. So this is the HTML for a photo gallery that we are working with. Let's just see what happens when I paste it in. Well, so that just dialer for me. Okay. Now you write some JavaScript to make the images up. All right, let's try out the JavaScript. So let's look at the let's look at the code. I mean, code that would definitely work in a modal, but it's not remembering what we did. So let's try Let's try to start all over again. Let's write a better prompt. Can you write a photo gallery that is centered? Let's just try to write it all. Centering page using CSS grid for layout. And the gallery has six images. 
are all placeholder images. We do download. Awesome. We only to display three images. Please need some JavaScript to move the images to move the to let's see to change the images the hit of a button click of a button click up. all right okay so bigger prompt we got html we got css and now we're getting some javascript so all right I'm excited to try this so while that's writing let's get our code queued up so all right essentially the so this is looking pretty interesting all right so i think if we do Actually, no, let me just ask. Let me ask it. All right, so the JavaScript looks pretty good. Really? Yeah. I could have sworn I did. Oh, so it's just changing. Okay, so, sorry. I got a little, I got a loss in it for a second. So, it's changing the HTML and CSS a little bit. And my hosted images are are now gone because I didn't want to try to rewrite the code. So this cycling through, we are changing things. So we do have working code. Let's see, does this next button do anything? Yeah, next button's doing stuff. So, you know, it took a little minute. It seems like the more in the prompt, the better than kind of piecing it together because it seems to have forgotten and uh, but when you know once we kind of had mega mega prop working the output was a little bit better you know i think definitely definitely promising you know again this one feels like where where your prompts are going to be the most important here but uh, you know i thought this was pretty pretty good to get you know i got something up and running got some boilerplate i got some stuff i can edit you know i got something i can work with you know, relative, relatively quickly, if this was something I was trying to do. So we'll include a link over to this instance of Code Mama for everybody to try out. It's pretty good. I think I want to, I think I'd want to dive into a little bit more if you're working on any code projects, just to see uh, how I can help you and, and, and try it out against some of the others that I've used for, for code. <laughs> So excuse me, everyone. So, you know, kind of another impressive, impressive release from the, from the meta AI team. So, yeah. So please, if you guys check it out, let us know if anything, uh, stick, you know, kind of sticks out or anything seems to work really well for, for your use cases. And, um, yeah, thanks for playing around with us today and, uh, you know, taking a little journey here through Code Llama and, uh, I'll see everybody next time.